For the past week, this has been Sarah Mohammed's home. She left Damazin in Sudan's Blue Nile state when fighting broke out between the Hausa and Berta tribes. She and her children walked for hours to reach neighboring Sinar state. We heard that there was fighting in parts of Blue Nile between our tribe and other tribes and we immediately fled. It took us more than six hours of walking to get here and now we have nothing except what we were given by the host communities. Sarah is one of thousands displaced by the unrest and one of the few to have settled with the host community. Other families have found shelter in abandoned schools in Sinar. But thousands of families are displaced in Blue Nile state itself. Some haven't found anywhere to stay and are stuck outside in the middle of the rainy season. Delivering aid to those in need is no easy task. Some areas are hard to access because of the violence. And while aid organizations wait for security conditions to improve, people are becoming more and more desperate. Many say they've lost everything. I escaped with nothing except the clothes I'm wearing. No one has come to see what our needs are. There are people with chronic diseases and children needing help. We need someone to come and provide us with assistance. The conflict started when the Hausa tried to establish a tribal administration and laid claim to land. The Berta and other tribes rejected the move and fighting broke out. More than 100 people were killed. The government has imposed the curfew and banned large gatherings in two cities. But as long as tribal hostilities persist, getting help to those who need it will remain a challenge. Kiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Damazin in Blue Nile State.